Welcome to Minecraft Planet Earth 3. My name is Echo, and today we are checking out the latest Minecraft collaboration, which is in partnership with the BBC to bring you the David Attenborough narrated Planet Earth 3. We checked this out, I think it was like one year ago when they did Frozen Planet. Now, I'm a true nerd, and I truly idolize David Attenborough. So I had to check this out once again. Now this is a free map that you are able to download for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, I believe on iOS, Android, Windows, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. We're gonna be doing a full playthrough today. But first, what we need to do is make sure we have the correct settings. Here on Africa's southern coast, seals risk their lives every time they set out to eat. Powerful ocean currents attract huge shoals of fish. But in recent years, this stretch has attracted increased numbers of great whites too. The great whites are shrewd hunters and use whatever cover is available. The seals are nimble, but great whites are patient and have explosive acceleration, hitting top speed with just five swipes of their tails. Swim through the shoals of fish to eat them and fill the bar above your head. Okay, let's go find these guys. Here we go. Yo, this is cool. How can we go faster? Can we go faster? Kind of. Ah, there we go. Thank you. We'll take them. Grab these little guys too. Oh. Yo, I love these kind of games, man. Um, How many have I got, though? Okay, we've only got two, apparently. Keep these going. There's another one done. Oh, okay. So if I dash, surely that means I'm using up my energy. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, let's be a little bit smarter here. There we go. We got three. Got my other seal buddies eating all the fish on me. Sorry. There we go. Swim to the other seals and gather up to five of them to scare away the shark. All right, so let's swim to these guys. Let's gather some seals. Here we go. Oh, that's a shark. Oh, do you not want to deal with him? Come on, buddy. You're, you're with me. Got three of us so far. Let's try and find some more of these buddies. Is he right behind? Oh, I can't change perspective. Okay, we got four. There's a shark still chasing us. Come on. Uh-oh, come to me. Come to me. Here we go. Where is he? <laughs> I can see him. He's right behind me. Not today, Sharky. Not today. That's the good thing about seals is they're really nimble creatures. Like they can twist and they can turn. Mission accomplished. The tables are turning. By sheer force of numbers, these fur seals drive the world's most notorious predator back out to sea. So we managed to get ourselves our first statue. This is the Cape Fur Seal statue. I think the tables are about to turn, though, because I think this time we get to play as a shark. Here on Africa's southern coast, powerful ocean currents attract huge shoals of fish. But in recent years, this stretch has attracted increased numbers of great whites, too. The great whites are shrewd hunters and use whatever cover is available. The seals are nimble, but great whites are patient and have explosive acceleration, hitting top speed with just five swipes of their tails. The tables have turned. We're now a shark. Follow the scent to find the Cape Fair Seals. Hold on, is this... Oh, we have a chomp attack. Okay, we also have a dash attack as well. I think we have to try and hide as well. Watch out, though. The boost item makes hunger bar above your head go down fast. Okay, so we do need to be careful with that. Go this way. Here we go. I find... I gotta get these seals. 
Use or hit the boost item to catch up with the fair seals. And then chomp. Okay. We don't really want to eat the fish, do we? I need to hide before we even attempt to try and get these guys. There was one around here a minute ago, though. Don't know if he's seen us. There you go. A little bit closer, maybe. Come on. Oh, we got to get a little bit closer to him. Mission accomplished. This shark won't need to eat for another few days. Those two missions were pretty easy to do. I wish we got to play as the shark a little bit longer. Look how cool that statue looks. Okay, on to mission three. A pack of Arctic wolves. Their dense fur has protected them through months of bitter cold. But now the sun is returning. This pack is led by an experienced female. If she can't lead them to food, the coming winter could be their last. Prey is spread over such a vast area that they must be constantly on the move in search of it. But finding prey is only the beginning. I very quickly discovered that we're actually playing the story of both sides. So this time we are starting off as the Arctic Fox, but I imagine we're also going to have to change to the Musk Oxen as well. Yo, this is cool though. I really love the sense ability that they've introduced to this though. And what's vision? Oh, okay. Oh, it's like an optifying zoom kind of thing. All right, let's make sure we keep trying to track the smell of these creatures. Because they do stink. I have seen planet Earth. They are smelly creatures. Where would they be? The only problem is though, doing this on my own without my pack might be a lot harder to do. Where are these smelly oxen? Come on. One more smell. Aha! There they are. We see them. In a moment, you'll have to attack the herd with your wolf pack. You can use the intimidate item when you are close enough to the herd to panic them. A panicked herd can increase the calf's vulnerability. The bar shows how much you still have to intimidate the herd. You have to be quick. If the herd reaches the ridge, you lose the game. Have fun and good luck. Okay, wolf pack, let the intimidation begin. Come on. We're gonna try and separate the calf, right? Oh, he moved over. Don't let them make the ridge. A calf stumbles, and the pack leader immediately closes in. A much needed meal. Well done. An adult Arctic wolf can eat as much as 10 kg of meat at a time. Musk oxen. They are five times the size of a wolf. But here in the Arctic, life is never easy. The conflict between wolf and oxen is an ancient one and has been waged since the Ice Age. Interact with the six sense and vision items to spot the wolves around you. Okay, so we need to spot all of the wolves. How would we spot the wolves? Over there. Come on over here. I don't see him so far though. When you've spotted all the wolves, the second stage will begin. Okay. A wolf down there. Come on. Aha! You've seen him. Is that not register? Gotta use this, maybe? There you go. We found one. I actually didn't even see where the other ones were. Okay, there we go. There's two. Seven in total to find. 
There's another one in this there. Is that you? Aha, three. Okay, so they're all lurking over this side. Basically, the way that we came from. Maybe? Another one. It's four. Well, straying away from the herd. Okay. Hold on, I gotta get a little bit closer. You're right. Because if they lurk from the left side... My little army of oxen are going to be in a little bit of trouble. Aha, see what I mean? There was one over there. Where are you, buddy? Yeah, we've got him. Two more, maybe? Are they going to make their way closer to me, maybe? I don't know. Don't look over this ridge. Interact. One more. There he is. One there. There's one more. For me to find. I know I'm kind of... Aha, there he is on the right. I know I'm kind of getting a little bit too far away, but I'm kind of like the big boy scout guy, right? There we go. Interact with attack item to knock back the wolves and protect your herd. So, we gotta knock these guys back as well as these dudes as well. Get them away. Get them all away. Although there is one in the middle, which I need to knock him all the way back, don't I? Come on. This guy too. Yes. I probably should have lost that there, but I'll take the herd it. Herd race to higher ground. As they reach the top of the bridge, the males turn to defend themselves. Two more trophies added to our room. Grasslands. They support the greatest concentrations of large animals to be found anywhere on the planet. Here, nature is at its most spectacular. This leopardess is one of the few special leopards that have learned to hide in the treetops and wait for their prey to come to them. I watched this episode of Planet Earth and those leopards leap out of the trees at like 30 feet catch the impala look for the fallen flowers under the sausage trees and eat them with the eat item under the sausage trees ah like these yes oh you gotta be really careful though i see you gotta be really careful over here why oh, you gotta be <laughs> i'm super i'm super nervous now Got to fill up all of these bars, but not get killed. Okay, that one's fine. That one's fine, but I also do hear... Do hear something rustling around up there. I don't see you, though. Okay, back up we go. Got to fill them all up. Eat. Another one. Eat. Oh, I think the leopard is actually rotating from tree to tree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, move, 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 move. The longer we're there, the more we're in danger. Where are you? Is that the leopard up there? I can't see it properly. Okay, well, it's currently on that tree. We've only got three more to eat here, so we should get away with all three of these. So one. And again. Two. One more. Mission accomplished. To succeed on these equatorial grasslands... You must be adaptable and sometimes brave. Navigate from branch to branch and reach the antage points from which to jump down onto the Impala. So you can jump with this when you hit space bar. So I figured out how to do it. So I need to jump to this location now. This we this is where we wait. Oh no, we don't wait there. We have to rotate around again. While being as quiet and as careful as possible. <sighs> okay, we made it to that point. Next point. Next 
point. We've got to find the next location. Okay, that's the last point that we need to get to. Just so many cracks. Can we jump that? Slowly. Mission accomplished. Leopards will go to astonishing lengths to succeed. The warmth and the moisture of rainforests enables their inhabitants to flourish in both numbers and variety. And here in the Amazon live many strange species. This is a tree hopper one of hundreds of different types in this forest. This tree hopper mother communicates with her young, encouraging them to stay together. But she can't guard them all. She needs help from friends in high places. Bees. Look for distress signals to protect the nymphs and tickle. Get them to feed on the honeydew. Okay, so do we gotta go up? Like, how do we go up? Here we go, we go up. Look for the distress signals, which is these ones, right? And, and, and hit these? Is that what I gotta do? I don't know if it's them, guys. Oh! Oh, there we go! I gotta get the, 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 the honeydew from them. Okay, that worked. And get some more from these guys. Thank you. Too many nymphs are killed. And the game is lost. Okay, so we need to... Basically protect these guys. There's got to be some more around here. Over there. Aha! Okay, let's go and say hello to these. So we got to protect these. Go. They're the distress signals. These guys are stressing them out. Come on. Take that one. And that one. You'll do as well. There's another one up there. All right, where? Where's the other one? Over there. Can we go faster? Come on. We'll go to this guy first. I think we're going to have to go to all of them anyway. So we'll go and check this guy out first. All right, buddy. Sorry that you're having a problem with these guys. I'm here to protect. Also, when people are doing this, if you get stuck, you got to look up and down for it to, to move. It's not like arrows or keys or anything like that when you move. You've got to literally look. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know I see your stress, buddy. I'm, I'm trying my best. Stressed out of his mind. You'll do. Woo! One more. And then this one. That should be enough. Mission accomplished. A little tickle on a tree hopper's back. A sweet reward for protecting them. Come on, little buddies. Let me take them to this first leaf. I gotta protect them, though. From ants and assassin bugs. Come on, you guys, come come feast. Aha, I do see him. I do see them. Hold on. Hold on. Gotta watch out with those those ants. I think there was another one there. There we go. Get out of there. Get rid of them. Yes! Okay, we need to go... Dude, there's so many of them. So many ants. Okay, we'll go this way. Come on. Can we make this way? I think we can. Can we get across? We can't get across there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't let them attack. And again. Get rid. Let's go. And again, get rid of you. Goodbye, ants. There's the assassin bugs, too. Don't let them. Darn it. I don't know how to get rid of the assassin bugs. Like this? Oh, this is where you summon the bees. Aha! 
Uh, we'll go to... Come on, come on, come on, buddy. Stay alive. We'll go to these guys, these two first. Yo, big fan. Big fan of the bees helping me. Come on, buddies. Little guys. Make your way over here. We got the bees protecting as well. Come on, are you guys fed? Are they fed? Have you eaten? Eat as well as you can. Gotta watch out for those ants, though. There's assassin bugs. That's why you need the bees for the assassin bugs. Not so much for the ants. You can, I can deal with the ants. Can't deal with the assassin bugs. Come on. They're dead. Uh-oh. Are they eating? A little bit more? Gotta get them all full, right? That one's, that one's done. I did those, those ones first because they're the furthest away and the, the next ones. Uh-oh. We might be able to, we might get our bees in a second. Here we go. Bees, help me. Get rid of those darn ants. All right. We'll, we've got three more of these locations to go to. Um, I guess we'll go to this one first. Leading my nymphs. Come on, buddies. This guy must be really hungry, huh? He's done. They all seem much happier now. They're, they're all done. Come on. Click these away. Yes. No, one died. I've seen that he died. Come on. I don't got very many of you guys left. We've only got one more location to go to after this one. Are they happy with that? Oh, they're, they're stuck over there. That's why. My little nymphs. Yeah, yeah. Come this way. Come to me. Kind of ran off a little bit too fast there. Yeah, you too. That's an ant. I don't need you. You guys got to come up here, though. Come and feed. And we got one more to do. Mission accomplished. Her brood are safe. The Okovango Delta. These waters attract millions of animals. And for some, now is the perfect time to raise a family. A lily trotter. And he is a father on duty. He has not just one, but four newly hatched chicks. Walking on water is not straightforward. So he must show them how to be a lily trotter. The floodwaters make the perfect training ground. But this is a dangerous place to stray. Oh, they were crocodiles. Navigate your chickens towards the side. Okay, so we need to go to... Oh, I got to use these. And then I got to go like... Go forward again. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Okay, they made it. Um, He can't get past there. So I guess... He's going to have to pause. He can go forward. And I guess he can also go forward, right? It might be in the water, but... Can he still go forward? I guess he can. Okay, next one. Forward you go, little buddy. Uh, Forward again. And again. The crocodiles and the eagles are waiting. They go forward... Go forward. Um, I'm gonna go to. I guess we'll go this way. Get on the pad, little buddy. And we're gonna have to go back to this guy. Forward again. Forward again. And also go forward as well. These eagles are not gonna be fun to mess around with. Uh, forward. Forward. 
know they're in the water this time, but they're going to make their way to the lily pads. Next guy. Forward. Forward. And we are going to go forward again. Um, We need to go to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's quite dangerous. Um, Stop. And stop. Oh, goodbye, little chick. That's not what we wanted to happen. Uh, <laughs> forward. Forward. There's nothing there. And then we've got two more little chickies to go through you. Uh, you can go this way. Ooh. Okay, we've only got two left. Um, I guess we go forward again. Forward one more time with you. One more time. Get on the lily pad. And then we're going to have to get you in the water. It's getting intense now. Forward. And forward. So close. Forward. This one's going to make it, but the other one might not. I don't know. I got to kind of bring them over. Okay, so you should make this. Okay, made it. Uh, I mean, the other one's going to have to go back. And then you're going to have to go this way again. And one more time. Come on. Forward. And then we've got one more to do. I can't believe I lost one of my chicks, though. I'm a terrible father. And one more time. At least two of them made it home safe. Mission accomplished. He signals the all clear. He's brought his chicks to the verge of independence. Navigate to the other side of the flood water to reach your father. Okay. I just gotta be a lily trotter. Uh oh. Uh oh. Quick. Woo! Gotta watch out for those crocodiles. They're gonna come and get me. All right, let's make it. To, let's get on land straight away here, though. Okay, we're safe. Might not be as safe in this kind of water, though. These guys look a little bit. How do I get there? Go this way again? Oh. Getting the hang of this a little bit now, though. They don't fly, though. That's the thing, do they? They don't fly. Not yet. They're too young. I'm making a lot of noise. We made it, Dad. I'm home. Mission accomplished. A little bedraggled, but alive and well. And it looks like that would be it. So we're going to celebrate with some stuff here. Let's... Can, can we... Is, there, is, there, is the monkey still here? Oh, hi! Can we, give him a, can we give him this? Oh. Oh. I mean, that's... Hello? Oh, he's gone away. Oh, he brings you a reward and you, you give him some food. But check it out. We managed to unlock all of the trophies. I really like that. The assassin bug was actually a pretty fun one to play. They were all actually pretty good as well. Let's see if there's anything else around here, though. There might be a couple of hidden secrets. I was hoping there was going to be like a, a secret mission for us to do. I don't think there is right now. Hold on. Can we change music now then? Is that, is that like... Can we change? The music is played during the tree hopper. Ah! So you can customize the music. What about this one? That's the Cape Fair seal. And then this one is... Hold on. A pack of oh. Arctic wolves. Oh, prey is only the beginning. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to leave a like and let me know in the comments section which mission you enjoyed most. Remember, it's completely free and you can do it yourself. Have a wonderful day.